everyone, especially future and fellow teachers in TESOL. I would like to talk about tips for scaffolding school and community speech events for ESL students. When ESL students attend school and community speech events, for example, debates, speeches, or poetry slams, it can definitely be a challenge for them, depending on their level. As we know, it's not just the pace that's problematic, but natural English is linked, blended, and full of colloquialisms or domain-specific terms as in a debate or a lecture. For this reason, I like to point that out to my students. What did she say? How many words did I say, students? What did she say? Therefore, I would like to discuss some ways that we can mitigate these kinds of issues so that students are more likely to enjoy and understand community and school speech events. If possible, it helps to contact the organizers before the event and see what materials are available that teachers can use to prepare students. For example, prior to an evening of inspired leaders hosted by Mass Poetry, I was able to get a list of the poems and also the speakers. I am speaking from my own experience, arranging for my students to attend speech events or having organizations in the classroom, such as Toastmasters, Skype in the Classroom, Boston Debate League, Harvard Debate Club, Mass League Poetry Slams, Mass Poetry Events, Sarah Kay and Phil Kay's Spoken Word Performance, and of course, school visits. These events expose students to a wide range of speech events and to those who are native speakers of English and those who are not, and people from different walks of life, different generations, and these events are quite multicultural. One of the main ways that I like to support students during a speech event is by writing on the board and if it's not in the classroom, taking whiteboards with me, one for me and one for a fellow chaperone so that we can take notes for students. And this really helps. I can also write notes, uh, write directions like it's time to go. For the Boston Debate League, I did a handout with some Japanese translation because that topic is quite difficult, homelessness. It's important to remind students they don't have to understand everything to uh, enjoy or gain meaning from going to a school or community speech event. So just try, tell them to try their best to get the main points or learn new vocabulary or just observe the people and what they're doing. And maybe later they can do another um, similar event and enjoy it more. So these are just a few steps that we can take before or during community or school speech events to make them more accessible to students. I hope they're helpful.